Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. They're polite. I mean, they just take the time for you. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. I like the Angels for what they've done for me. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to our Community Connection. Thanks for watching Eagle Community Television and thanks to our producer of the series, Jeff Durall. We're uh, community connecting with President Myrta Martin of Forte State University as we reflect on some of the activities of the university during the summer. And I gotta say, there must be a lot going on because there wasn't a parking space. <laughs> We're in the middle of summer, there's supposed to be a whole bunch of parking spaces. Well, you know, the last time we visited, I, I, I share with you the, the um, it reminds me every year when I, I had just graduated from college and I went to work at a bank. Mm -hmm. And invariably people say, oh, you work at a bank, banker's hours at two o'clock, you shut down, there's nothing <laughs> to do. You sit there and twiddle your fingers and, you know, and so on and so forth. So when people would come, I would call, especially John. John would call sometimes like at three or four, and he says, so what are you up to? And I would say, oh, you know, I'm banker's hours. I'm here <laughs> having a manicure with my feet up on my desk, just fanning myself. <laughs> and I think now that we're in higher ed, the same thing happens whether higher ed or even K through 12. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a time that teachers, that faculty, that staff take during the year to, to do an awful lot of the administrative stuff mm -hmm. that needs to be done mm -hmm. that that uh, that really affords the university a smoother sailing throughout the academic year when the students return and our focus mm -hmm. has to shift to meeting their needs because at the end of the day we're here for them mm -hmm. so whether it's strategic planning whether it's summer camps and we have had camps summer camps say that three times <laughs> um, uh, of course, the Hispanic College Institute, um, we have swimming camps, we have basketball camps, we have baseball camps. Music camps. Music camps mm -hmm. starts on, on Monday next uh -huh. week. Um, so we are really excited. This is a way to showcase all that is great and good about Fort Hay State University, not just to the prospective student who is mm -hmm. that high school senior, mm -hmm. but to the little ones. You begin to, f to create that affinity, that love for the institution. Uh, the parents begin to see what we have to afford, whether it's the new construction, the new 21st mm -hmm. century construction, where's the, the talent and the dedication of our faculty who lead and our staff who lead the summer camps, um, they get hooked just like I did. <laughs> <laughs> the first ever, and first in Kansas, I believe, Hispanic College Institute. Mm -hmm. Reflection, President Martin. You know, it's, um, it was magical. It was transformational. It was everything that I hoped for um, and even more. Um, this, in many ways, will be my eighth Hispanic College Institute. You know that we implemented it in Virginia through the Virginia Latino Higher Education uh, Network or VAHIN, Hispanic College Institute, and it was designed to afford first-generation Hispanics mm -hmm. the knowledge of how to navigate the American educational system, to apply to college, to enroll in college, and then most importantly, to be successful in college so they could graduate. Mm -hmm. And so um, we have a track record and we brought that here and Brett Bruner led uh, this initiative. Uh, and he did a phenomenal job. The logistics flowed seamlessly. Um, and, and everybody involved from student affairs, all of the faculty. We had a major's fair that where the faculty came out, where the deans came out to speak to these prospective students about their aspirations, about what they like to do, about you know the fact that they could actually have a career in fields like art. You know, it's not the starving artist mm -hmm. syndrome. They could actually have a career in art or, or in the STEM fields or in, in a myriad of things. And it was so incredibly heartwarming to see how this family, how the Ford Hayes family opened their arms to a population who did not think they could go to college. Mm -hmm. 
and and they, you know there have been several interviews, several testimonials. Um, Diane and Randy have done a, a phenomenal job to to put down in print some mm -hmm. of the experiences of these kids. But invariably, what they said was it was transformational. Um, this community, this university, this city came together to welcome this population and to show them that the American dream is alive and well at Fort Hay State University. And if it is that American dream that they wish to pursue, there's a university in Western Kansas that's called Fort Hay State University that's willing, able, and has the arms wide open mm -hmm. to embrace them and to show them the path. And I think what was most touching, and it happens year after year after year, and if, uh, year after year I think, it's not going to happen this year. You, you kind of hope, but you keep saying it's not going to happen. But to hear these, these students who were picked up by our buses say, you know, we sat in the bus, we didn't really speak to each other because we were strangers. We came off the bus, we were strangers, we had anxiety, we had stress. Some of the parents actually brought the kids here themselves. And then four days later, they were hugging each other, they were tearing as they were saying goodbye. They, they were recounting stories of how they bonded, how they were going to be family forever, how they had found a place and a home at Fort Hay State, a, a place that they now understood that they were wanted. Um, you know, that closing ceremony, I don't think there was one dry eye in that ceremony. Probably including the president. Including the president. Uh -huh. um, but it really is very touching to see how through education people's lives can be transformed and are transformed. I mean, we had testimonials of students that said, you know, I've been screwing up in high school mm -hmm. and I'm going to, what, what this institute has told me is mm -hmm. I need to go back and I'm going to straighten up because I'm going to go to college. Hmm. That's the miracle. That, that's the transformation that happens in this institute. And I'm very proud of the Fort Hay State University family, of everybody who, who has been involved in it. As I said, it, it, it just it was a community event that was led under bread, you know, you had Dennis King, you had Tricia Klein, Joey Lynn, um, and and uh, Hector Villanueva, and Alma Hidalgo. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on and on because everybody got involved. Uh -huh. And what these kids felt, and, and we had three individuals who actually came from Virginia. Um, they had been in the first inaugural Hispanic College Institute, and Isaac and Pam, and, Isaac is our poster child for the Hispanic Institute because he was one of these kids. He was one of those kids that couldn't, didn't think that was going to go to college. Ended up not only going to college, became a Gates Scholar, graduated, went on to his graduate work, and two years ago we celebrated that he was the first PhD student. And now, not on, and now he owns his own company. Wow. And hmm. Pam went on and is now looking to apply it to a master's program. So these are the success stories. Ernie G, who is a Hispanic comedian, much of what he does is inspirational. He, he creates the unity mm -hmm. through, through humor, mm -hmm. but that, that it's inherent in the values. Uh, and these people came and, mm -hmm. and all of them said, we've never experienced the welcome, the warmth, the love mm -hmm. as we have here with all of the staff, with all of the faculty, with community members. So I'm very thankful, I'm very proud of the efforts of the Fort Hayes State University family and of the Hayes community family. I have to say, President Martin, one of the inspirations, maybe the inspiration, would be that little girl from Cuba who came to the United States, worked at menial jobs to put food on the table and then became president of a major regent's university. Well, that has to send a strong, important message. Well, I think, and I, and I did say to them, if, if I can make it 30 years ago when there was no community, they can make it 30 years later because there is now a community. Um, but you know, the message 
is not just directed to the Hispanic population. Um, the majority of our students here at Fort Hay State University are first generation. They come off the fields of the farms of Kansas. And so my message to them is the same. Mm -hmm. um, many of it is, there is an American dream to be had. It doesn't matter your gender or your ethnicity. If you're a first generation student, you don't know what you don't know. And many a times, it's the parents who keep these students back. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily meaning to do so, but they say, but you know, my son, we've lived on this farm for the past 50 years. Mm -hmm. We farm the land, we live a good life, you're gonna be here. Mm -hmm. Why go to school? Mm -hmm. Well, because when you go to school, you're able to use the technology to increase the yields mm -hmm. and the output of the farms. So, you know, rather than getting behind um, a, a uh, ox mm -hmm. to plow the fields, now you're able to see how is it that I can use combines or how can I use technology to improve the yield mm -hmm. so that I can grow the farm, I can grow the returns of those yields in the farms. And so my dream is that this Hispanic College Institute will morph, will, will, will be able to flip it so that we will not only just have a Hispanic College Institute, but we will have a first generation mm -hmm. college institute to show the parents mm -hmm. and the students the value of their education so that they can go ahead and create a more efficient way of running their businesses, their family businesses, their farms, mm -hmm. their industries. Mm -hmm. That's the value of an education. And I think at Fort Hay State University, we are uniquely positioned to be able to embrace these individuals, the caring, the love, the dedication of our family and our, of our faculty, of our staff, is second to none. Mm -hmm. um, when the parents bring them to us, they become our children, and they really do become our children. These are not words, and, and families is, is not just a word that I throw around. You see it each and every day. And that's the magic of Fort Hay State, and that's what we need to tell the world. Catch us up on uh, some of the summer construction that's going on around campus, would you, President Martin? So the last time you were here, yeah. I told you to take a picture because mm -hmm. things would have changed and they have already, of course, started to mm -hmm. change. You know, the, the applied technology mm -hmm. building is, is already coming up. It's, um, and it's neat in that, as you know, it, it's close mm -hmm. to the university house. So every morning about six o'clock in the morning, I'm hearing mm -hmm. They're out there. Uh -huh. um, you know, they're, they're making um, wonderful time. The, um, the track facility is, 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 is up and going um, so that we're ready for our season. The um, Dane G. Hansen Entrepreneurship Hall is just about finished and we'll be able to welcome our first uh, inaugural class in that hall in, in August. Um, the theme housing is coming up. We saw the pillars are up. Uh, so the bulk of all of the construction that we can put up at this point is going simultaneously. Um, once, of course, the Applied Technology Building is up, then you will see some more visual changes on this side of town, mm -hmm. on this part of the campus, because, they, the, uh, because we'll be bringing down uh, Davis Hall. Mm -hmm. Those individuals, the faculty from Apply, will come across the street, and hopefully by that time we, you know, we've launched the hundred. Um, we we have launched the largest, most aggressive capital campaign in the history of Fort Hay State, and part of that is to raise money for a myriad of things. You've got a student success center. We need to raise money to erect that building. Um, the Honors College study abroad mm -hmm. programs, uh, scholarships. Um, but that Student Success Center is critical to our future, so we're going to be raising funds for that building, which will be attached to the union. And then, of course, the art building will come next. Mm -hmm. And then also the renovation of the power plant, which will become, as you know, the Moss, um, the Thorn, uh, Moss Thorns Museum of Fine Art uh -huh. uh, to house and display um, our extensive art collection mm -hmm. that has been given to Fort Hayes through the generosity of many, many donors across the years. 
President Mirta Martin, our Community Connection. We'll talk about uh, tuition at Fort Hayes State coming up on our Community Connection. Thank you. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. And the angel care nurse come to see me once a week. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Angel Care has helped uh, to stay home. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. Our community connection continues from the office of Forte State President Dr. Mirta Martin. Let's talk about this faculty uh, receiving the President's Gold Volunteer Service Award. Well, you know, that's... Um I, I should say I was surprised, but that would not be the case because faculty and staff and students at Fort Hay State University uh, as, uh, are unique in their willingness and their commitment to pass it forward. And so the Presidential uh, Volunteer Award uh, recognizes individuals who have selflessly given more than a thousand hours of community service on in any specific year. And so our faculty received that award. And, and of course, the, the, the ultimate honor of the award is the recognition from the President of the United States mm -hmm. that they have provided service uh, to their human beings, um, uh, to, to, to humanity, uh, without expecting anything else. And so we're very proud of of the family of Fort Hayes, of the faculty at Fort Hayes, uh, who continuously give back and pass it forward. We, uh, thanks to the uh, inaction of the governor and the Kansas legislature, we are facing a uh, tuition increase at Fort Hayes State University. You've already lost, I think the figure I heard was about $2 million in funding, mm -hmm. which is going to have to be made up if you're going to continue this uh, forward-thinking, world-ready vision of Fort Hayes State University. What can you tell us about tuition? Well, you know, um, tuition increases is something that no university wants to think about, um, not just Fort Hayes. Mm -hmm. I think I speak for all of my regent institution colleagues as well as for all of the community colleges and technical institutes. Um, we, we need to ensure that education is accessible mm -hmm. to individuals. We spoke about the American dream. Um, if sometimes it's, it's very little money mm -hmm. that keeps people out. Mm -hmm. And so at Fort Hayes, we are very much committed to that accessibility. We, our programs are superb. The quality is second to none. The excellence of our people is, is, well, is world known mm -hmm. by the President of the United States um, um, and, and, and throughout Kansas. And people know who we are and, and the legislators, the, the, the administrators know the excellence. Uh, and so when we have to increase tuition, it is something that we uh, truly leap, lose sleep over. Mm -hmm. um, these increases. Uh, we had long conversations with the H SGA presidents, um, and they were very supportive. And when we requested the increase, which was a $7.15 increase, um, they were at our side. Um, $7.15 is still the lowest increase of any institution in Kansas. It still positions us as the lowest tuition in Kansas. Um, our tuition. Um, for the upcoming year is still uh, uh, $1,898 um, for the entire semester. Mm -hmm. uh, the next lowest tuition is about $2,500 per semester. So, you know, a $600 mm -hmm. spread is significant. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're committed to ensuring that Fort Hayes is always accessible to, to our students who wish to pursue that education. So. This is not something that we take lightly. This is something that in a perfect world, there would be no increases in tuition. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's something that we need to do to continue to expand. 
uh, and we're going to expand. We're going to grab market share. We're going to open our doors to individuals who wish to have that education. Uh, we have done so by defying national trends. As you know, last year we grew close to 4% in enrollment, where no other university in Kansas was able to do that, or, or really even in the national sphere. And it is because of the message that we are promoting, and that is the quality of our education, the excellence of our people, and the access to that education. And to maintain that, you have to have the resources available yes. for that superb faculty and all of the other things that go into making Fort Hayes State a university. Yeah. It's, it's the superb faculty, it's also the dedicated staff. It, it, it has to be both, you know, and, and you and I have often spoken about it, um, but every single individual in this university plays a vital role mm -hmm. in our success. Um, from the construction mm -hmm. crew, my brothers that we have spoken about, uh -huh. um, who, who, who remodeled the university, to the grounds people who keep mm -hmm. the grounds beautiful, to the custodial staff that keep our buildings clean, mm -hmm. to the dedicated staff who support the faculty who are in the classroom. If any one of those individuals of those departments were not there, mm -hmm. this university would not run. If the if the people who um, if the student affairs individuals were not here, mm -hmm. you know, the university the students couldn't come. Mm -hmm. If the RAs were not here, there would be no supervision. Each one member of this university has a significant role in its success. Mm -hmm. Titles are just that. They don't define the person. Mm -hmm. And what this university does incredibly well is each one of our people mm -hmm. take intense pride in the job that they do mm -hmm. because they look at this as this is what I would do in my home because it is their home. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes us successful. It's our people. Glad you pointed that out because every time we come, we see the beauty of the campus outside. We see the cleanliness of the custodial staff taking care of it inside. Absolutely. Guys that are working on the fountain out front Absolutely. at Sheridan Hall. You, you know, know, and they're doing it when it's 100 degrees outside. When it's 100 degrees out there. You yeah. know, and they do it with a smile on their face. Mm -hmm. um, you can pay people to take pride in their work. Mm -hmm. Our people take pride in their work because they look at this as a, as their home. Mm -hmm. And that's why students come. That's why parents entrust us with our students. Because again, they feel that they're turning them over to a place that is their home. Mm -hmm. All right. The partnerships. The Wichita, I'm saving the best for last, uh -huh. by the way. Wichita Area Technical College. Yes. New agreement signed. The American University of Phnom Penh, Cambodia signed and the Autonomous University of Kiotero. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing this for so long. Querétaro. 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 And now you put it all together and it spells Querétaro. Uh, in yeah. your mind. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> back to the discussion. <laughs> Thank you for the Spanish lesson, by the way. That was free of charge, too. That's that didn't right. cost That's me right. a dime in tuition. Right. All right. So what does this mean for Fort Hayes State, President Martin? It means that we continue to expand our footprint in the world. It means that we continue to expand the excellence of our programs in the world. It means that we create external sources of income to bring back to Kansas so that we can maintain our tuition affordable and accessible to all Kansas and to the rest of the world. It means that we continue to invest in ourselves mm -hmm. and, and that's what we have to do. We need to grow, uh, we need to bring faculty in, we need to bring staff in uh, to be able to continue to grow. And mm -hmm. this provides us an opportunity to, to show the world who we are. Um, you know, I, I feel very strongly that one of the reasons, again, with the um, um, with a capital campaign, um, one of the legs being for international mm -hmm. travel abroad programs, is 
the fact that to do business in a global marketplace, you can't do it sitting in, in, a, in a classroom in Hayes, America. You need to go abroad, whether it's 10 days, whether it's one semester, whether it's a year. You need to experience and understand the people of that country. You need to understand the culture. You need to understand how business is done. The same is true for the other countries. Um, and, and so it's not just the exchange of students, which is necessary, but it's also the teaching of the curricula to other people throughout the world. I will submit to you um, that it is very difficult to not like a person who you know. Mm -hmm. And so if this next generation, and I have great great expectations and great hope for this generation to be that generation to find peace in the world because this generation is a generation that thinks of others hmm. before self that you, we see it in our students they're the ones who want to go to do the, the the mission trips to go on the Peace Corps to go on the Teach America because they want to give back hmm. and so if this generation begins to create friends across the world then maybe they understand that at the end of the day, we all want the same thing. We want, we, we want stability for our families. We want a better life for our families. We want our, our, we want our businesses to succeed. We want to have a roof over our head. We want to have a piece of bread mm -hmm. to eat. And at the end of the day, we, we all bleed red. Mm -hmm. And I think that the more that we understand that, the less of a, of, of the war that you will see in the world. And, and so study abroad, study international exchanges. I hope that what we're doing through these partnerships is beginning to plant a seed in those students across the world, as well as in our students here in Kansas, that we're one world. We're not them versus us, but we're one world and that they have the ability through education to find meaningful and peaceful collaboration between nations of the world. And knowledge can further that, can it? Absolutely, yes, sir. And along that same line, 17 of the Shenyang students, the university students uh, from China, visited recently. They did, and, and there was, um, uh, for the bulk of them, there was a first trip to the United States, um, and they were welcomed here at Fort Hay State. They, they visited throughout. Uh, Stephen Tsai, who is the associate dean for our partner institution in Shenyang um, Normal, brought them here. And, you know, it's, it's a wonderful time for them to practice their English, for them to experience firsthand the culture of the United States, uh, and to be able to see their, their home institution away from home. Mm -hmm. Because the degrees that they earn are dual degrees, so they are just as much a part of Fort Hayes as they are of Shenyang Normal. So this is a unique opportunity for them to say, oh, this is actually, I'm touching my school. <laughs> so we were very thankful to welcome them once again. President Mirta Martin, Fort Hayes State University, and uh, as your summer continues, we hope that you have a little downtime. Absolutely. So that, uh, and that you come back quickly to visit with me. Well, so invite it's, it's, us it's, back and we'll be always. here. This you, is, know. you all are my get out of jail ticket. <laughs> <laughs> She can close the door and the phone doesn't ring. We're uh, grateful for your time, President Thank you, sir. Martin. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. And we'll see you again in a moment. With God's help. Thank With, you. With uh, President Mirta Martin, our Community Connection. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. And the angel care nurse come to see me once a week. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Angel Care has helped to stay home. Angels Care Home Health, we serve patients.